beautiful day, a beautiful welcome to our Mark 7R. Last time you guys saw this car, we were dyno tuning the Pmax Stage 1 turbocharger with MPI and on pump gas. And honestly, I've been using it since then and it's been a great turbocharger. It offers really excellent response and it's a big upgrade in terms of uh, top end, about 40 horsepower over the IS38 while basically maintaining the same response. So now we're back on the dyno with the same car with the same setup in terms of hardware. So just a reminder, we've got obviously a Pmax Turbo, we've got MPI and we've got an LPFP upgrade. So fueling wise we're set. So why not take this thing and and throw some ethanol at it. So tank's almost empty. We're gonna throw some ethanol. We're gonna probably get about E50, E55 in terms of ethanol content. And we're going to max out the performance of this Pmax on ethanol when we're no longer gonna be knock limited. So come along as we dial this guy in and we really show you what the Pmax is capable of doing with some E in the tank. So here we are under the hood of the Mark 7R. A uh, couple of things I just wanted to point out of, uh, of what we've got under here. So we've got a big, big whale peen, whale peen of a, <laughs> of an intake. We used to call these whale peens on the Mazda speeds and then it just looks like that, a uh, little throwback. But we've got a big intake, three and a half inch from CTS. We've got the CTS intercooler up front, which you of course can't see on this car. We've got the CTS MBI system. So there's the additional fuel rail uh, pressure sensor for the low side. And uh, we've got the 980cc injectors in here. We've got um, the LPFP, which you've, there's a video of it uh, going on the car, but it's uh, it's not something that you can see here. And obviously we've got the Pmax Turbo, which looks pretty much stock. That kind of sums it up in terms of what you can see in the engine bay. Fairly basic looking, but at the same time, I think that that's part of the beauty of it. It, you know, this, this OEM look is, uh, is something that I enjoy in this car, OEM Plus with a lot more performance. So now that we got our baseline and the car baseline just like it did before, which is great news, after we did a bunch of uh, maintenance with oil and DSG fluid and all that on, uh, on pump gas, now we're going to uh, get some corn in there. Mmm, sweet, sweet corn. We're going to dial it in, maximize what this turbo can do, and then share those results with you guys. I know that we get quite a few inquiries about this turbocharger because it's a compelling option out there. The car pulls quite strongly, but just a nice step up over what the IS38 can do. This is basically the same as going from an IS20 to an IS38. And all of the GTI guys, I know that you know what that is. And, uh, and it's a sweet upgrade, just like this one is. All right, let's talk about the results, the exciting results. And to tell you the truth, I didn't know if this turbo uh, in this car on E50 would hit 400 wheel on our dyno. This is a Mustang dyno without any sort of manipulations of numbers or dyno jet numbers or anything like that. And it did it, it just touched the 400 wheel horsepower number with a Pmax turbo. This is probably about 465. Uh, wheel on a uh, dyno jet so she is properly scooting as you saw in the pull that we did uh, in car that's this dyno really mimics the road so that's how fast fourth gear you'll be accelerating through and I'm gonna point out a couple of really nice things too once we dial this in uh, on some E50 so this is a comparison between what the car did on on 93 and what it did on E50. Now there's about a 37 horsepower gap here and it's it's about the same in torque. So let's see here at peak torque actually. Uh, we've got a little bit more, we've got about 40 foot pounds of torque uh, at the biggest gap here. But this is maintained throughout the entire pull. Uh, with ethanol of course you gain more. For that 
the HPFP is at least at least required, but what we have on this car is MPI and we have the LPFP as well. We have absolutely no problem in terms of supporting this in terms of fuel on E50. On an HPFP, you might want to stick to something like an E30 for this power level. Now, just to give you a comparison in terms of the acceleration, you can see how much quicker again on E50 we accelerated 7.44 seconds through fourth gear versus about uh, just past eight for the uh, same gear on pump gas. So the other highlight of this particular Pmax Turbo, and you can of course find this package with our ProTune on our website, but really the, the highlight here is that I'm getting peak torque right at 3000 RPM and, and the car is not running out of breath all the way up to 6500 RPM. This is a really wide power band. Here it is again on a wide background. Um, it's, it's really excellent. It's, it's a stock motor car, uh, stock DSG with of course our DSG tune and, and all the bolt-ons. Uh, it's got an intercooler, we've got a turbo back exhaust and we've got an intake and of course the MPI that I talked about. I wanted to compare this before I leave the, the power curve here, I wanted to compare it with what a GTX 2867 did. So we had this customer's car uh, on our dyno and it made very similar numbers, 399 to the wheels with very similar torque numbers. So the 2867, which is a Boss 500 kit, made these numbers. But the big difference is the 2867, you are making that peak, much peak torque, much closer to 3,500 RPM, and of course carrying it through. But let's go back to the Pmax. Look at, look at this right here. So this is all street drivability, and, and this is something that you can enjoy pulling away from a light anytime. You just get a broader power band with the same top end potential. So the turbo, uh, you know, according to Garrett, is not, is not as potent as a 2867, but certainly on this, on this platform, on this motor, with, with the proper tuning on E50 and the proper fueling and all that, it can be just as potent and it can give you a really awesome power band. I wanna take this car to the drags once they open up, but this should be a high 10 second car uh, with the DSG and, uh, and this kind of power band. So very, very happy to see that and, and very happy to see uh, these kind of uh, power numbers being made. And in case you're wondering, the the boost level, we're pretty much at the max of, of the OEM uh, sensors for this. So we're sitting very close to about 29 uh, or so PSI with a little bit of taper up top. And of course the fuel is keeping knock away. So. Conclusion, the Pmax Turbo is really hard to beat. Uh, you're, you're going to exceed what, a, what an IS38 will do uh, and, and you're really gonna not give up anything in terms of power band. Really, really nice upgrade and it just rounds out this great car uh, that already is, is very well set up but now it's just got a little bit more and that's always a good thing. So if you guys got any questions, as always, hit us up. Uh, we're very open to discussing these setups, uh, why we do what we do and hopefully we're, you know, you guys learned something from from all of this so keep watching keep following give us uh, give us a shout and we'll see you guys in the next one